Folks, we are live. We are live. Let's get some viewers in here. There's Brando. Love to see him. Good kid. Who else we got in here? I think it's just you right now, buddy. Ah, uh, there we go. There's Bernie. There's Cody. Whole crew is here. Whole crew is here. Oh, there's a sheesh. How do we feel about the uh, the little picture frame in the corner there? Try to do something a little bit different. It might be stupid, but I was just like, nah. <laughs> Brandon, are you actually leaving? Are you actually leaving? You've been here for 30 seconds. Yeah, so it gives a little bit of a different angle. I've been practicing with these car practicing with these cards all day. It gives a little bit of a different angle too, so you can see me here. These are just some commons that I had. So you can see what I'm doing with my hands at all times. Oh yeah, we got the email, we got the Facebook, we got these, yeah, I know, <laughs> we got the Twitter, we're going to be tweeting out all the hits. I figure that if the people who are taking part in this get some sick hits, then let's expose those hits to a wider audience. The more people that see them, the more, just the more pop potential that you have to move them, trade them, whatever. Alright. Oh, look at Cody with the retweeting. Cody with the retweeting. Oh, let me ask, did it actually pop up? I, I have it set up in this program that I use to run these to automatically tweet out what's going on. So I'm not sure if that happened or not, but if it did, that's fantastic. We'll get started in... <laughs> okay. okay, we'll get started in 60 seconds here, 60 seconds. Awesome, good, sweet. Yeah, basically it's all automated and what you do is you essentially just tell it when you want to run your live feed and it will automatically send out a tweet and um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. And I mean, obviously for now, it's probably just all the B2B people, but hopefully as we get some hits flowing and we get some, some bigger cards, then we'll start to see some, um, some real action. So, so, let me do one thing here. So, what we're going to break right now is we're going to break uh, we're going to do break number 5. So we're going to do this a little bit backwards. We're going to do break number 5 first, which is the pick your team auction that we did for those who are watching or might watch this in the future who are unfamiliar. And we have a little Facebook group and while we are a smaller Facebook group, we're a very active community. Um, we we fill 100 spot lines like there's no tomorrow. So we are very active and it's more of a community than anything. Um, and the other night we did a pick your team auction. So we set a reserve price for the box and then we, um, we just had a, a little bit of a bidding war. And every dollar that went over the reserve, I don't keep, I don't collect, I don't make any money off of it. I'm going to random that, it was $25. I'm going to random that $25 off to someone in the group. So some people might even actually not only get a, a full team, but they might get money back as well. So um, yeah, so that's basically what we're gonna be breaking first, and you can see that uh, right here. It's a super jumbo, five autos, and uh, let's rock and roll. Nice to see Richard taking part. Um, 
you can see your teams over there on the left. So you can see we've got Tyler. Tyler went a little bit crazy here. He took the Yankees, the Rays. He took the Phillies. He took the Giants, the D-backs, the Cardinals. Basically, basically, he bought the whole box. So um, without further ado, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I did this last time, and I'm going to do it again this time. I'll do it every time, but here's the giveaway today. Whoever predicts the hit of the box, whoever predicts the hit of the box, I'll send them out a little something. And if you're not taking part, if you don't have a team, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you're in the comments, the hit of the box, you don't have to name the, the parallel, you just have to name the player. So for example, if you think it's going to be a Torkelson, then all you have to say is Torkelson. You don't have to say Torkelson, Red, Auto, Shimmer, or whatever, or Red Wave. So, yeah, so that's basically it. Yeah. So just throw in the comments. Who do you think is going to be the hit? We actually did this last break, and one of the comments said a Zach Veen refractor auto, and that's exactly what we hit. All right, let's do this. The unnecessary jumbo knife. Set that aside. And let's uh, pull this apart. So what I'll do is I'll do this the same way that I do all of them, is I will open all five packs. And once all five packs are open, then we will uh, we'll start going through them. So this is definitely the boring part of the break. So you can see, oh, one more pack in there. You can see there, nothing in the box. All right, let's open these bad boys up. So who are we thinking here? <laughs> Carson Tuckle. <laughs> okay, these are terrible guesses, I can tell right off the start. Who said a Carson Tucker? Richard, stop saying stupid people. We did this last time, and Richard said a coffee pitcher for the White Sox. Sure enough, we had a coffee pitcher for the White Sox. So who do we got here? We got Tor, Castle, um, Nick Anderson, Maddie Reynolds. You can't all say Torque. And Nick Anderson, I didn't even think Nick Anderson, I think he's a reliever for the, the Padres. Unless we're talking about a different Nick Anderson. Either way, it's unacceptable. Cody's picking the Canadian kid. The Canadian kid. No, Nick Gonzalez is the new Pirates rookie. Nick Anderson is the reliever for the San Diego Padres who was on the Tampa Bay Rays. Now mind you, Nick Anderson is an incredible baseball player. But I don't think he's in Bowman Draft. Okay, so you're saying Nick Gonzalez. Alex, who are you saying? Who, who do you think is going to be the hit of the box? So you can see we've got some piles here that are kind of all over the place. We're seeing some color right away. I'm just going to try and organize these so we've got enough room to go through them. All right, so some big fat piles here. I know that it seems like it's a little cramped because of the angle that the camera's on. Have no fear, cards are incredibly safe and in good hands. Okay, so some of the feedback that I got last time was that we shouldn't be. Hold on one second, I'm just, we're gonna go through the paper first. I'm hoping that you can't see this top card because there's a top card here that's motherfucking sexy. 
All right, are we ready? Let us begin. Find my perspective here. Here we go, papers. So we've got the Jimenez, Luciano, Roby, Libertore. We're gonna go through these fairly quickly and um, fairly quickly, and then we're, uh, we're gonna get into the color here. So we've got Foscu. Now I like Foscu, he was taken 12th overall. He's a second baseman. I know a second baseman don't necessarily get a lot of love in, fan in uh, fantasy in the collecting circles, but I think that he's got a plus power bat, and it's definitely someone that you might want to keep on your radar. Foscu, number 12 pick for the Texas Rangers. I'll just kind of give my little my little chatter here. <laughs> Here's Zach Britton. It's a blue. For those of you who don't know, we are a Canadian group. These two are always back to back. I know our buddy in here, Brandon, collects uh, CJ Van Eyck. So if you do hit one, Brandon, then um, <laughs> you can quit your job. <laughs> Who else do we got here? We got a blue coming up, a sky blue. It's coming up next. It is a, oh my goodness, Drew Romo, the son of Tony Romo. Now, I am going to sleeve that, but I'm just going to put that aside until I can... Get through all of this ridiculous paper here. Peraza, I've got a Pete Crow Armstrong here. Nice young guy for the Mets, a left-handed hitter. It's one of the, there's four left-handed hitters in this draft class that um, people really, really like. Hassel, Pete Crow, um, Nick, Nick Gonzalez is obviously a right-handed hitter. Um, Hassel, Pete Crow. Fuck, who else is there? There's four of them. Oh, Zach Veen and... Um, I'm pretty sure Torp is right-handed batter. There's one more. Maybe it's the Cardinals guy, Walker. I don't know. So you can see here, we're just moseying on through. Now, there's going to be uh, the very first card that we look at in Chrome here. I know that it's off screen and you can't really see it. There's a Zach Veen. There's one of those lefties. You can't really see it here. But there's something pretty decent coming up right away here. It's the very top card. I know you can't see it. There's a Dominguez. And uh, so it's going out to the Padres. I'm just going to set these aside here. It's going out to the Padres. The very first refractor on the top. Very first refractor on the top. We're looking at a Robert Hassel refractor right off the very first card. Very first card, chrome card. I'm just going to pause for a second and sleeve this bad boy right away. Because this is, I would consider, a pretty decent hit. Well, I mean, when you buy the, the Padres, this is the guy that you want. And a refractor is not too shab right off the top. Let's see who else we got here. We got a little Helio Ramos. Jake Blomgren, refractor. Evan Carter, refractor. And a little Riley Green. I know, she's right off the hop. Hitting, hitting big. Levi Prater, Andrew Vaughn. So for those of you who collect the White Sox, it's a nice little hit. Oh, there's the biggest tease. The biggest tease since Farrah Fawcett. Gage Workman. Everyone thinks it's a torque, but it's never a torque. Jared Jones. Also, can someone explain to Ashish who Farrah Fawcett is? <laughs> Ashish is uh, a guy who's in our group if you're just watching this who is actually 13 years old. So he's got into card collecting at a nice young age. And um, he's got the Padres here tonight. Aika Williams, Dane Acker, Muldinski. I don't know, we got something right here. It looks like a, one of those diamonds card, Carson Ragsdale. Ragsdale. And we've got a Caraway diamond insert. So, all right, so that's the first half. Let me just set these aside. Stack is just getting fat. So Matthew Dyer, right off the top. Bowman first, Refractor. I like that card. Gianni Kovaco. Carter Baumler. Ben Hernandez. And then we get into these little inserts here. What else we got here? Oh, Slade Sassoni. Duran, there's why you buy the Brewers, Garrett Mitchell, Corbin Carroll, 
There is our torque right off the hop. First pack. Pause for a moment while we sleeve this torque. Uh, no, that has not been pulled yet, Dave. However, we are only in the first pack, and we haven't even got to the audio yet. So it makes sense why it has not happened. So we got our torque here. Anything that's a first or anything that's a refractor always gets sleeved and top loaded. Uh, so have no fear. We're protecting them all. All right, Miguel Maya. Bixo, Bits, Bitsko, Jervis, Balazovic. There's the Gonzalez we were hoping for. I mean, if you bought the Pirates, that's why you bought them. In our pick your team, um, pick your team auction, the Pirates actually, when when the reserve was hit, the Pirates were one of those teams that got sniped in the in the final power hour. All right, so we want the the Soderstrom auto apparently. Lofton, Tolentino. Oh, and there it is, Max Myers. So I mean, if you're gonna get a pitcher auto, you gotta be happy with that. That's a Max Meyer pitcher auto. He um, was, I think, the number five overall pick. No, he was the third overall pick. So if you ended up with the Marlins, this Max Meyer is. Um, it's a pretty nice card. Just getting this sleeved up here. Looks like it's perfectly centered. So I want to go in this top order. Alright. Okay, just one second here. So I'm just gonna put that in a thick sleeve, just for right now, just so I'm not fumbling around with it and and uh, bend the carpet carpet at all. Uh, and that's the first, yeah, that's the first pack. So first pack got some decent hits. We got the Max Meyer. Just gonna set that aside. Kid is not in a top loader, so I just want to make sure that we got the Nick Gonzalez, the Torque, and this is the uh, this is the hit of the first pack, the Robert Hassel Refractor. Just gonna set these right here. All right, let's do pack number two. So I'm just gonna. Oh, I see a purple auto right here. So I'm gonna do this right here, and we are going to. We are going to go through all of the paper first. And there we go. <laughs> oh, Alex, what did you say? Who did you say was going to be your hit? Um, there we go, Bailey Horn. Duran, Halpin, oh, and Casey, the Canadian kid, That's he seems to be rising in value a lot, at least in the Canadian groups. Um, he was kind of a little bit of an unknown, but uh, third round pick, I believe. But um, he definitely is, I've seen a lot of appreciation in his cards and in his value, and I think it's just with people becoming a little bit more familiar with him. And, um, yeah, I kind of, there's another, oh, there's the T's. Also, if there's any issues with the focus, just let me know. I've got it set up to sort of autofocus, so just kind of give me a little poke, let me know. Make sure, there's the Torvald Sim. Just going to set this aside. Got the Drew Romo here that I still have to sleeve up. Uh, we got a purple card here. And a J.J. Blade. J.J. Blade actually, I believe, was the fifth overall pick last year. Uh, sorry, fourth overall pick last year. So it's not like... <coughs> excuse me. 
I think sometimes we dismiss some of these players when we don't hear about them. Um, and we kind of go through and you, you know who they are, you, you hear the name, but the players who were drafted last year never really got a chance to accumulate any stats. There's a Soderstrom. Uh, so they're kind of a little bit forgotten and I mean maybe a little underappreciated as well. Yeah, this is the 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 Miami. Miami's Miami's running this box so far. Uh, there's there's the man, Austin Hendrick. Now we're, I have a feeling, and I don't know why, and I'm not pandering to anyone at all, but I have a feeling that we're gonna hit some Austin Hendrick, some something big, because this is the last box out of the case, and at Howard, and um, Hassel, and we haven't hit any big two two big players that we haven't hit yet. We've hit pretty much everyone else. But we haven't hit a Austin Hendrick big card, and we have not hit a Ed Howard big card. So let's see what's coming up. Actually, just hold on one sec. I'm just going to sleeve these two bad boys up. Sleeve up the Torque. Sleeve up the Blade. Blade looks nice and centered. And it's numbered 14 out of 250. So potential for a jersey number there. I don't know what jersey number he wore. Uh, there's the Blade. That side. Torque. I mean, it's just the paper, so we're not getting too, too crazy about it, but Torque seems to be notoriously off-centered. Now, I've seen some cards come back from PSA, actually two, and those cards looked off-centered to me as well. However, they still received a grade of 10. So, who knows? Maybe PSA... PSA knows. No, that can't be it. They would never make exceptions. All right. You can see here. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a right there. There's a purple coming up. Oh, yeah. This case has had incredible centering compared. There's been no, like, major, major disasters. Here's your solder storm right away. Get that sleeved up. Actually, let me just set this off to the side here. Just so we don't hit it with my elbow. More Miami. Now we get to the J Grooms. Schmidt, Kirby, Mike Ciani, Gerard. Oh, there's the Cali Calabrese. Nolan Gorman. Another Max Meyer. Little Tink Hence action. Toglia, oh, ne uh, no, not next card. Julio Rodriguez, Sam Weatherly, Kristen Robinson, and here's the purple, it's the purple auto. Might just be a color, it might not be an auto, but it's definitely, let's see if we can kind of get the team. It is, no, it's not a pitcher, it's the Cubs. It's the Cubs, it's a purple. And it is uh, Miguel Amaya. Miguel Amaya, breaking hearts. It's not even a first. Get out of here, Miguel Amaya. Nobody likes you. Ooh, then we got Bryce Bonin. It is a auto refractor. So I'll pause for a minute here. This bad boy sleeved up. So if you got bought the Reds. You definitely did not buy it for Bruce Bonin, but you can't be hating on that. Can't be hating on it. It is beautifully centered, 231 to 499. See this here? 231 to 499. And that's the auto from this pack, I believe. Let me get into some more refractors. Zach Britton, and of course, CJ Van Eyck. Always back to back, no matter where you find them. Blade. Now, let's pound out some of these. Let's get some. Oh, there's the, the Jordan Walker. Set that aside. I'm actually going to set aside the Van Eyck uh, refractor. I normally probably wouldn't, but just because I know that. Um, I know that Brandon's chasing him. 
I got the Tucker, Spino, Cole Henry, Griswell, Amaya, Tanner Burns, Gross, Austin Wells, Blakely, Foscue, that guy that I was just talking about. We're going to sleeve him up. And Cassis. And last but not least, another uh, Nick, Red Sox, Nick York. So just give me two quick seconds here. I am just going to sleeve up these cards. Whilst this Miguel Maya, I wish it was um, an Ed Howard because it's a great looking card. And it is perfectly centered. No worries, buddy. That's what we're here for. If you're gonna PC a player, you're gonna make sure that he's taken care of. Now, back to Foscu. Love Foscu. Although, I'm making this my, my love for Foscu based off nothing that I've seen. I've never seen any clips of him or anything like that. Like, Austin Hendricks, I was talking to Donnie today, and Austin Hendricks, the ball literally leaps off of his bat. Like, they say that you can, you know, some of these big hitters, you can hear the, the ball, hear the, the sound it makes. It's just different. They said that, like, when Bo Jackson played. They said you can just, it just sounds different coming off his bat. Same thing, same sound comes off of Hendricks' bat. Um, he's, a, he's a different kind of player. But I haven't, uh, I haven't watched anything about Foscue. I've never watched any clips. Maybe I'll go do that later on. And then, of course, the Soderstrom Refractor. Soderstrom taken 26th overall. Uh, I mean, the guy had an OPS of 1285 last year, in or sorry, in the year before that, and had a batting average of 425. Sorry, that was his high school, high school numbers. So, I mean, obviously take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> uh, yeah, she definitely was talking about the card folding skills. <laughs> so there's not much else to talk about. I shouldn't. I shouldn't diss myself on a recorded. Oh, I see a blue auto here. I'm assuming it's an auto. So now it appears to be a blue wave auto. So that means that it's basically just above a napkin in the card collecting world. So we're starting this off with Austin Hendricks at the top. Uh, let me get my angle right here. As well, though, Peraza, Petey Crow again. I mean, if you if you like the Mets, you love seeing P. Crow come through, but you don't like seeing all of his cars coming through his papers. Contrell. Oh, this is a uh, Shea, oh, Shea Langley was, yeah, and Kyle Nicholas. So is anyone, uh, anyone buying any cards or expecting any cards for Christmas? And if so, what's your Christmas purchase, uh, what's your card Christmas purchase, I was trying to say, that you're hoping for or that you bought for yourself? I'll start, just while it's taking time for this to buffer. Um, I really, really wanted a Kristen Robinson auto. So uh, I picked one up today, a Kristen Robinson auto. And it's not graded, it's not PSA or anything, it's just raw. The, the PSA 10s are like 350 Canadian. So Kristen Robinson auto picked up, and that was my little Christmas present to myself. My wife told me to pick a card that I wanted and go buy it, <laughs> and, and she would wrap it for me. And I said, oh, well, it, a, it probably takes about a month to get here, and second of all, it, uh, oh, we got a green here, Adley. That's kind of cool. Everyone loves a good Adley. It is numbered. I'm assuming greens are 99 usually. It is 65 to 99. Let's see if you can see that. Right on his shin guard there. 65 to 99. That's a nice little hit for the Orioles. I mean, you want the Kirstead, but uh, a green Adley paper numbered card is better than a kick in the pants. All right, so just getting through this last little bit of paper here. I didn't even see that green. It completely snuck up on me. Just 
Scrolling through. Scrolling through. Yeah. So back, sorry, the Christmas cards. So who do you think? Who do you want? Who are you hoping for? This is the card that you want that you're like, damn, this is a good Christmas. Glowinky. Glowinky. Then we got a Lodolo. Poisson. And Freddy Zamora. So we got a Glimpses of Greatness, Andrew Vaughn here. I know Nans will appreciate that. A Drew Romo. Ian Bedell. Bobby Miller. Dabovich. Jared Crochet. Another high pitcher draft pick. Xavier Edwards. Asa Lacey. I always want to say Asa Basie. For those of you not born in the 90s, then you won't have any idea who Asa Basie is. Uh, Zach Deloach, we're coming up here as Seminaris, Glowinky, Lodolo, Ed Howard, there you go, Ryan, Ed Howard, Carson Tucker, we got, um, oh, more refractors, okay, just hold on one second, that means that the auto is the blue wave for sure, and um, there was, so I'm just putting the Ed Howard aside, and actually, I'm going to sleeve that up right now, just because I know that Ryan loves them. I personally love them. Big Ed Howard fan. And to make sure that he goes in his proper spot. He seems to be hard to pull. Seems to be hard to pull. But that looks pretty decently centered, top to bottom, left to right. It's a little, little right, or a little left, but I don't think it's any worse than 60-40. Nice looking card. And we've got Mr. Boyle. Susan Boyle's first cousin. Logan Allen. Ooh, those Cubs. <laughs> and they... Chris McMahon. And more Cubbies. Now we get into this game again. Hoping the guys that you, you hope for show up here. These are like the these are almost like base cards. They're just you know the ten to fifteen to twenty dollar cards that you hope to snag. Larnick. There's a Robert Hassel again. Just gonna pull him aside. Julio Ramos, Kyle Nicholas, JJ Gross, Seymour. We're coming up here. Jeremiah Jackson. You can see it right there. It's the next card. It is the next card. And it is for the Detroit Tigers. <laughs> it's an auto. It is for the Detroit Tigers. Motherfuck. It, oh, I don't even, I don't even want it. If I see Gage Workman, I'm going to lose my shit. It is a Dylan Dingler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bernard. A Dylan Dingler. It is number two. Uh, 150. So let me sleep this up right away. I mean, it's not Gage Workman, so there's the positive there. And then we'll sleep up the Robert Hassel. Yeah, that, that's blue balls for sure. For sure. Oh, I just literally had butterflies in my stomach right there. <laughs> Fire fingers. Okay, let's never, ever, ever call me that again. Especially around my wife because she knows that it's not true and she's going to think it's true with someone else. So we got here is the Romeos. Now, so we go through this little journey again. This is our fourth of five packs. That Dylan Dingler was man when I saw that Tigers logo. I thought there's only three players that it can be: Dingler, Torque. 
or um, Gage Workman. So as long as it wasn't Gage Workman. Dylan Dingler is actually a second round pick. So he's got a little bit of hype behind him. Ryan's here. What's up, Ryan? Yeah, I know. And I think that's... We would have seen that when I did the little preview. Ryan's here. For those of you who don't know or might be watching this in the future, Gonzalez. Uh, Ryan is the other administrator of B2B, and he is... Uh, one half of the crew here. So if you do have a great deal that you want to facilitate, contact Ryan. He will make all of your dreams, both cards and real life, come true. These two, again, always back to back. I feel like there's an algorithm in which they, how they stuff these packs, um, but it seems to be broken. Zach Veen's always never far behind. Nick York, yeah, it literally follows a pattern. Dominguez, this is the same pattern of cards. Oh, didn't even, didn't even know that was Hogan. Slade Kikoni, Sassoni. Whenever I see this dude, I always think of Madonna's maiden name, which I think is Sikoni or Kikoni, however you pronounce it. This looks good. It's number 374 to 499. It's a first Bowman. It's a, a teal or aqua blue, whatever you want to call it. 374. All right, power hour. Now we get into the cards. The cards we care about. Not to say that we don't care about them all. Justin Lang. Jeter Downs. Cade Cavalli. And the Pittsburgh Pirates. Ooh, Zach Veen. Me and Zach Veen. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Nick York. Uh, sorry, I was just reading Dingler. Luke Little. Oh, that's the worst I feel for your eye. Justin Lang. Logan Allen. Will Klein. Sulaire. Oh, we got a sparkle here. I don't know if you can see that. We got a little sparkle coming up. Let's see who it is. PD Halpin. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares about PD Halpin. And then PD Halpin again. I mean, it's the Indians. It's a first Bowman Chrome. It's an auto. So who knows? Who knows? He could turn into the next PD Rose. But still. Don't give us back-to-back -back stuff. Now we get into refractors again. Thomas. My goodness. PD Halpin. We're going on a, a big diet of PD Halpins here. Abrams. Haskin. Ryan Murphy. Casey Martin. Luciano. Halzer. Owen Miller. Blade. Zach Daniels, Brennan Davis, Bonin, Hunter Green, Powell, Rushman, Tyler Brown, and Balazovich. Uh, yeah, you should find out who PD is because basically in that one pack we essentially got the rainbow. Obviously we didn't, but we still got the auto. I mean, anytime you get a hitter as your auto and it's first Bowman, then you have to be happy with that. Like, I can't complain about that. That being said, it would be nice to bang out one of the big guys. Now, for the auto here, you'll notice that I'm putting all of the autos in... Um, in thicker team bags, and that's just to make sure that I'm not sitting here fumbling around with them with all this camera equipment in front of me. I just don't. I just want to make sure that I get them protected, and then I'll put them in the proper uh, the proper case in just a moment here. Yeah, there was a, a there was uh, there was probably a chrome as well. 
Uh, no, there's still one more pack, Dave. Still one more pack. And then we're doing the random teams um, break right after this. <laughs> I am all good on Ed Howard Groms. Basically, any pick your teams that I found. We got the Veen, we got the PD, we got more PD. So that was 100% Pete, 100% of the time. So I'm just going to do this over here. Hold on a second here. I don't want a certain someone to see this top card. But you can see the logo there. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I don't know if you can see this, but that's a gold, folks. That's a gold. I did not look to see who it was. Oh, shit. I don't know if you can see this, but there's two golds back-to-back. -back. Two golds back-to-back. -back. So, last pack, Mojo here. We are going to... End this box with two gold cards. Yeah, I did. I sleeved it and everything, and I tucked it in and kissed it goodnight, too. B to B, B gold. B to B gold. This is how we do it here in Canada. Here in Calgary, we got 40 centimeters of snow. And um, it has not been pleasant commuting, especially because I left all of my Christmas shopping until the last two days. So the good thing was I went out yesterday early in the morning, like at 9.30 in the morning. And Costco, empty. Empty. There was more employees than there were people in the store. So what normally is an hour-long Costco run took me like 20 minutes. There's another torque. So if we're doing the torque dance, we're up to three. One of those golds would certainly change life for one of us, for Bernard. Yeah, that's ridiculous. No snow in Waterloo, 40 centimeters. 40 centimeters. I probably saw, and I'm not exaggerating here, 30 cars on the side of the road or in ditches or anything like that. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna to want to be real nice to me there, big guy, because there's a, a Cubs, a Cubs hit coming up. That um, <laughs> maybe I'll drop it by accident. <laughs> maybe I'll bang those corners accidentally against the camera here. I would never do that because I love the Cubs. <sighs> And I love, especially, an Ed Howard Refractor. Boom. Been looking for this bad boy. Looks nice, looks centered. Ooh. Corners are as crisp as a coffee crisp. My goodness. Yeah, I would hate for this Ed Howard to get destroyed by my, my nasty scent there. A bear. There we go, folks. Look at that. Beautiful centering corners. Oh, that's a that's got PSA written all over it. But wait, there's more. Here, I'm just gonna put the two golds right there, just so I'm not picking them up and putting them down and exposing them to any unnecessary risk. Oh, and Casey Refractor, that Canadian kid. And then a Jason Dominguez glimpses of greatness. Now, it's ironic how they say glimpses of greatness when no one's actually gotten a glimpse of Dominguez. I mean, we know he exists, but that's kind of it. Never seen him face live pitching. So maybe hopes for glimpses of greatness. More Miami. Nick Sweeney, Volpe. CJ Abrams, Jordan Wagyu. Oh yeah, let's leave that key. Oh, there's the Austin Hendrick. Austin Hendrick, so let me just make sure that I put all these. I'm gonna take this Hendrick and just kind of gently slide it over here. 
And then we get into the refractors. We get into Will Klein, Aldrich Soler, or Alaric Soler, Vukovic, and Tristan Lutz. Not great refractors there. Liam Norris, Dominguez, Joe Ryan, Rutherford, Jesse, Jesse Franklin the fourth, the fifth. Sorry, my Roman numerals are off. All right, we got some golds here, folks. We have two golds back to back. That means we have a gold auto. Luis Gill, Petey Crow Armstrong. This pack just keeps on delivering, delivering the hits of the 60s, 70s. Oh, never mind. No one knows what the 60s or 70s are. Jimenez, Luciano, we got. All right, folks. Now, I don't know what these are. I haven't seen them. But there's two golds. The first gold is for the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta Braves, Shea Langoliers. Okay, not great. The next gold is for the Washington Nationals. Again, not great, but it is a <laughs> Cade Cavalli. Auto refractor number 250 is number 21 of 50. So that was what they say in the business anticlimactic. However, if you did get the Nationals, remember this is a pick your team, so the Nationals probably went for $4, $8, $12. It was not expensive, and uh, so you're probably pretty happy with that. I would say you easily recouped your, your investment right there. I know, sorry issues. Okay, so folks, I'm gonna do a, oh goodness, I'm going to do a, just leave these bad boys up here, and then, um, yeah, I could do it right here. Just leave these bad boys up. And then we can do a little recap of box number one, and then we will go right into box number two. So that's the peak row. And 13. So if you paid 13 for the Nationals, you got a gold auto numbered to 50. If I did that, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Just uh, plug in Jess and Jason in here. So I made the mistake of buying premium sleeves, and premium is not what I would consider these. I asked him why. What made what made the, the penny sleeve premium? And he said it's because they are precisely cut. I thought, hmm. I'm not going to try and force this in here. It doesn't want to go in, so. Precisely cut. I don't know what that means or how that's different, um, but there. I don't. I don't know if anyone else in Calgary has seen this, but there is a major um, supplies drought going on. There is zero, zero penny sleeves in Calgary right now, and I went to all three of our card stores, and there was none in any of them. None in any of them. So we'll do a little recap here in a few seconds, just while I try to pop these in. Uh, we haven't done the $25 yet. I'll do that off camera, and um, that will go to one of the people who participated today. One of, can someone, just while I'm doing this, can someone go into the Facebook group and just let everyone know for the second break that it's happening in four minutes? If I could assign that task to someone. All right, let's do a little recap here of everything that went down. So first are the non-autos. Let me just set this aside here. First are the non-autos. And these are just all the cards that I felt were, were decent hits. Even the Torque Paper, Owen Casey Refractor, 
Dominguez, glimpses of greatness, the Austin Hendrick, P.D. Crow, Ed Howard, Refractor, um, P.D. Halpin, Refractor, P.D. Halpin, Speckle, Zach Veen, the Slade at Sassoni, Robert Hassel, another Ed Howard, Adley, Tyler Soderstrom Refractor, Jordan Walker, C.J. Van Eyck, the Foscu, Miguel Maya, Drew Romo, Torque, Lede, the Robert Hassel Refractor, Torque, and the Nick Gonzalez. So, and then our autos are here, and the Dominguez, Shea Langoliers, we got the, the Cade Cavalli Gold to 50. We've got the Petey Halpin Base. The Dylan Dingler Blue Wave to 150. The Bryce Bonin uh, Refractor 499. Also, that's a pretty sweet signature. Kind of looks like the number 33. And then we got the Max Meyer. Max Meyer Auto. So our autos were okay. You know, we didn't hit any of the major players, but we also didn't get all no-name pitchers either. All right. So I'm just going to move these cards into a safe place. They're out of the way. And then we're going to start on box number two. Now, box number two, for those of you who are watching this in the future, box number two is was a random um, team assignment where basically you got one team from what I called the AAA division, which is the Detroit and Pittsburgh and Cincy and, and all the top teams. You got one team from the AA division, which is going to be all those mid-tier teams like, oh, the biggest card? Mm, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide on that. It might be the, uh, it might be the Max Meyer Auto. Max Meyer Auto, maybe the Dylan Ding Dingler. This might be, which I bet no one predicted. Maybe someone can look up and see what's a bigger card. Dylan Dingler, the, or the Max Meyer, or maybe even the Cade Cavalli. Someone take a peek, check those out and see what you come up with. What's the hit of the box? Because if it's the Max Meyer, then I believe someone called that. All right, so the second box here. Now, this box is the, um, the three divisions, the three tiers, if you will. And the three tiers were uh, all the eight, like the, the top teams, the Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Detroit, now the Mets, PD. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course, you're sure. Uh, then we have the second tier, which is going to be like the Yankees, and the Marlins, and um, Texas, and Oakland, teams like that. And then, of course, the bottom tier, which is Houston, Toronto, and um, all those other teams. So it was, you got one team from each division. One team on each division. All right, so let us get started. This is, for everyone watching and listening, this is box number two. This is what we would call break number four. Break number four. If you're unsure which break you have, just look at the top of the Facebook posting and it says break four or break five. This is break four. We just did it in backwards order. That's all. So again, break out the five packs. So I'm going to open these here. Oh wow, look at this. That's a red. First pack, there's a red in there. I mean, 
Reds are kind of like pizza. Even if it's bad, it's still good. And there's one other thing that's like that too. I can't quite think of it. Purple. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah, that's what this is. So this is the random. This is the one where you have Brandon. You have the Mets. And, oh yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I have this set up here. Uh, the new teams are, boom, there we go. So Bernard has the Orioles and the Rays, and um, Brandon has the Mets and the Red Sox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, look at that. There's a blue. So far in three packs, there's a blue, a purple, and a red. You guys see the new teams updated there? Someone give me a shout if you can. It should be. Someone just let me know if you can. All right. So we'll start right and go left. to show any of these cards here. Okay, sweet, perfect. All right, so again, we go back to this paper game and starting it out with Nick Swinney, Volpe. So, different box. This is actually from a different case. So, we might have some um, Ed Howard. We might have some different. I mean, we have a red there. So, and I'm not, I don't know if it's the autograph or it's just a, a non auto red card. But um, there's definitely a red, a blue, and a purple in this case. So, that's got to be feeling pretty good about that. Workman. So this is the box that Andrew bought two spots, and uh, there's our Torkelson. And that's going to Colt. So, oh, there we go, I didn't even see that. It's number 249, 500, but look at that. Yeah, that's a little bit of a, a raised edge there. So that sucks. Well, I do know that if your card ever grades at a level that's below an 8, you can send it back and Tops will replace it. So if there's any big hit that's bad, definitely, definitely. Oh, I have all the packs saved, so we'll, uh, if anything like that were to ever happen, we would be covered. All right, so there we go. 
That was the first allotment of paper. Now, I'm just gonna sleeve these two bad boys up here. Even though they are paper, they are near and dear to our hearts. Three signs, there is no other kinds. And we got a torque, beautifully centered. Looking good, torque. Sleeve this bad boy up. And we got our first two baby hits, our first two little baby hits. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Warner Blakeney. Foscu. Someone was asking about Warner Blakeney as well. I don't know who it was, but first card, first refractor, Foscu refractor. Connor Phillips, Mitchell Parker. So those are great refractors. All of them were first Bowmans. And I'm just gonna set those aside here. Foscu and Blakeney. Two names that we should know. Jesse Frank, Jesse Franklin the fifth. Swaggerty. Landon Knack. Drew Romo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't tell me why you were interested in him. I don't know. My my research has not gone that far. I don't know what his, his deal is. Jordan Adams, Deloach. Seminaris, Glowinky, oh fuck, holy shit, oh man, <laughs> that popped out of nowhere, oh, oh, and here's the worst part, here is the motherfucking worst part, is that, oh look at that, Kirsten right behind him, this card right here was originally, oh, the Mets were originally owned by Adam, who traded the Mets for the Cardinals and another team to Brandon. <laughs> and Brandon it. Oh, Adam, I feel for you. But at the same time, Adam also hit a black Torkelson autograph, so I don't feel too bad. Next one up right after that is a Kirstead Refractor. Wow, that came out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. Petey Crow, Refractor, numbered 419. I was not expecting that. Zach Fien, Hernandez. Wow, that's good. That first pack sets you up. Liam Norris, Dominguez. Sleep him. Joe Ryan. Austin Hendrick. My goodness. Pack is just vomiting out. Pete Crow. This is all one pack. Jimenez, Luciano, and then Cantillo. Cantillo. Yeah, that that one pack. My goodness. I mean. Pico Armstrong is a sick hit. The Refractor Auto. We got the Chrome. I know that the zoom doesn't really work, but don't worry, I'll, I'll flash it up. And it's not that the zoom works, I turned the auto zoom off, just so it wasn't zooming in and out on my hands the whole time. Because a lot of times you watch these breaks and there's always focus issues. So I wanted to figure out a way how to get around that. And if you buy a camera that has manual zoom, which this one does, then you can ensure that your, uh, your, your focal standpoint is consistent throughout the whole break. Yeah, that, um, that's not a small hit, that PD Crow. That is, uh, that's an exciting card to have. And that's gonna generate a bunch of interest in our in our group. If you're watching this in the future, I'm always talking to people in the future just in case you're after an hour and five minutes you're still tuned in and you're still with me with it's you with you. If you are, then that's amazing. Um, 
But yeah, if you're interested in that, contact Brandon. He's in Back to Back, which is our group. This is the logo, Back to Back. So this pack, this single pack had Warner, this is a little recap here of the pack. Foscu Refractor, Dominguez Chrome, Austin Hendricks first chrome, Pete Armstrong first chrome, Kirstead, Kirstead Refractor, Torque Paper, Reese Hines, and then our big motherfucker, Pete Crow Armstrong, number 419, no, 410, sorry, 410 out of 499. So I'm just going to set that there. Like I said, I don't want to be fucking around with it and mess up the corners, so. And it's also the worst thing ever when someone hits a big card like that and you had them in the previous, in the previous box. That hurts. Um, the same thing happened to me when we had a case hit of Pete Crow Armstrong. So then we go down our little paper trail again. Feel like Goldilocks picking up all of the loose pieces. It's gonna lead us Max Meyer. I don't even know the relation to Goldilocks, and that's not what I meant at all. I meant to say Hansel and Gretel. I guess I just have Goldilocks on the brain. Zach Veen papes. Nick York, Dermo, Dylan Dingler. I watched a case break the other day, and every time the guy pulled saw this card, he said, my name's Dylan and I hit Dinglers, which is funny the first time, but he did it every single time. <laughs> Petey Crow, it must have been 30 times, and by the end of it, I was just like, bro, I'm muting you. Who did pick the box? Like, who picked it from the store? Or just who picked it because there's another one sitting there? The one that's sitting there is there for display purposes only. It's already been, um, it's already been allocated to, to Andrew, who's actually in this break. So it wasn't even an option to pull that box. That one's been, that's been the designated survivor of the line that he won. And Jason Paper right at the end. So yeah, so no one really picked the box. All right, so let's see what this little pack has to offer. Now, it probably won't be as good as the last one because the bar is pretty high. Austin Wells, first Bowman Refractor. First Bowman Refractor, I'm gonna sleeve those up. Sammy Infante, Kyle Isbell. Cody, Sammy Infante, we just saw his refractor. Connor Phillips. Who did you pick for this break versus the other one? Oh, um, I just chose one. There wasn't, there wasn't any picking that really went on. Brennan Davis, Bryce Bonin, that was the auto that we saw in the last box. There's a blue here. I don't know if you can see that, there's a blue. And it is Kyle Isbell. Hmm. I mean, it is Kansas City. Oh, look. Zach, <laughs> Zach McCambly. Right underneath him. Zach McCambly. Put that aside. Reed Detmers. My goodness. Just keep coming here. Just put all of those in the sleeve pile. Andrew Vaughn. Okay, hold on one second. I'm just going to sleeve these up right away just because... That, that hit pile is getting a little bit out of control. Now I am sleeping up Andrew Vaughn because it is for Matt Nanny, or Mans as we like to call him, and he's a huge Andrew Vaughn fan, so this little Vaughn refractor here is well taken care of. Let me do the Detmers. Any, like a, I probably wouldn't normally sleeve up you know, someone who's maybe not as known as Reed Detmers, but he was a first round pick, it's his first Bowman, and it's a refractor, so I'm gonna sleeve that up as well. And the Cambly and Isbell. So these are gonna go in the thick sleeves, and just so there's no fumbling around. Put that there. 
thick sleeves. A little bit of Cal Isbell, it's numbered 111, 111 to 150. We've got the Sammy Infante. And then the Austin Wells. Now don't don't forget I'm I'm just pausing to just make sure that I get all these cards sleeved up. You can see this Austin Wells here is a little low C. See that it looks seems to be a little more right and left to right. But let's uh, pop that in. Just make sure that the, the pile is getting a little too big for my liking. Alright, we got the gauge workman. Bobby Witt, uh, here we go. Crochet, Edwards, Asa Lacey, Beter, Hernandez, Bernhardt, Ed Howard, love Ed Howard. Forget who has the Cubs, who has the Cubs? Uh, Alex has the Cubs, love me some Ed Howard. Robert Hassel. Man, these packs are just spitting out these first bowling chromes. Seymour, Jeremiah Jackson, and Nick York. All right, let's sleeve up these again. We are uh, we're sleeving a lot of cards here, which is a good thing. So we got the Robert Hassel. Pop that in there. Ed Howard. I don't even know why I love Ed Howard. I mean, he's a Chicago kid. Plays for the Cubs. Plays shortstop. He's got a big bat. Where is he taken? 16th overall. Batted 420 in high school. Yeah, there's no chat. I mean, it's two days before Christmas. Chat me up, folks. It's basically Alex and I having a discussion here. A heart to heart. I guess Brandon's just not excited about his P. Crow, and as a result, what I'll do is I'll just raffle that off to. Um, Whomever chats more. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to this. We go DL Hall, Holden Powell. I think I did all these already. Yeah, Brennan Davis, Blade, Brolson, Mitchell Parker, Connor Phillips, Isbell, Infante. Did I do these already? Yeah, I'm just going backwards. Okay. Brandon, you should be in shock. That's a, that's a very nice. Oh, a nice card here for someone. The refractor. Put it right there. This one, if you can see that, that is a blue. This is a blue something or other there. All right, let's do the paper dance again. There is a sky blue in here, I believe. Thought I saw that. Can I see? Whoops! Not even. Don't even have these guys in the frame. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but my stomach is growling. My wife is making. We're having. I don't know if anyone else does this, and so maybe you can just tell me because maybe it's weird. Does anyone else have breakfast for dinner? We do this all the time, breakfast for dinner, where we'll have a fruit salad and a smoothie and eggs and bacon and toast and usually some some kind of like fruit, like strawberries or something like that, a little fruit salad. Oh, there's a Torkelson. 
Does anyone else do that? Is that weird? We do this probably once every two weeks, breakfast for supper. So that's what's going on here. Breakfast for supper is amazing. But I told her that I had to do it after the break because I didn't want to have bacon grease all over my hands while I was flipping through that P. Crow Armstrong. It's a staple, right? Thank you. Thank you. Now, my wife is Russian, and she had never heard of it before. I mean, I guess in Russia they have goat for dinner or boiled. I guess it's hard to boil breakfast because um, everything is boiled in the Soviet bloc. And I am obviously um, exaggerating. There are some amazing meals. Pilmani, amazing Russian meal. We've got a sky blue here, pulling up the rear. And it is Shea Langle the Years. 24 to 4.99. No one's getting overly excited about Mr. Langoliers. Now, let's get through the fun stuff. Miguel Amaya. Tanner Burns. Cody Hoise. Jose. Josh Jung. And then the Orioles. So nothing too exciting right off the hop. Let me get back into Dingler. Luke Little. Colt Keith. Mason Wynn, Brandon Pfdit, Trey Cruz, Brent Beatty, Matthew Dyer, what do we got here? Kovaco, Michael Bush, Soderstrom. Now, remember that name, folks. Remember that name, Soderstrom. Mm, I don't want to tip my hand, but Nans, might be a little treaty poo here for you. Detmers, it's a blue coming right here. There's a cursed ad. All right. Oh shit, this is weird. Oh, never mind, it's not weird. I was gonna say there's a paper there, but it's just because I split it up. All right, so we got a paper here. We got a blue. A blue, of course. We're gonna slow play. This is going to. Oh no. Oh no, it's going to the Chicago Cubs. It is going to the Chicago Cubs, and that is Alex. Alex, my man. If this is an Ed Howard Blue Auto, I am going to poop in my pants live on camera. Oh, thank you, my pants, thank you. A Burl Caraway, Burl Caraway Blue Auto, number 96 to 150. Oh, well, look at that. There's the little surprise I was talking about. Soderstrom Refractor. Oh, man. I get just as nervous and excited as you guys do. One of these times, it's going to hit the right person, and literally, I'm going to explode. All right. So we got the Soderstrom. We're going to sleeve that up. Case Williams. That's our buddy Dylan's favorite player. Nolan Gorman. Levi Prater. And Nick and Zutz. Now we go through this. Nick, Owen Miller, Zach Veen. It's a nice little, nice little hit there for Andrew. Ryan Jensen. Nick York. Hadley. Justin Lang. Boyle. Logan Allen. Will Keith. And then Max Meyer. So... We have two packs left. There's a pack with a red in it that I'm going to save till the end. Because that, no matter who it is, as long as it's a first Bowman Chrome, it's a big card. All right, so we have in this pack, we'll do a little pack recap here. Zach Veen. Yeah, Soderstrom is one of the players that I actually did some research on and really, really, really liked what I saw. Now, the drawback is that he's a catcher, but there's talks that he might he might um, move to the outfield soon. His bat is just too big, and I think what they're doing now is they're seeing a shift in baseball away from the big power hitters being catchers because it limits and just basically zaps their power away. 
it zaps their power away. So I wouldn't like Joey Bart for the Giants. They're playing him at third base. They would rather have someone who's more of a defensive specialist. And I think you're going to see that whole position change altogether if they move to robo-umps. Because pitch framing basically is non-existent. Pitch framing is non-existent if you have robo-umps. So that skill is no longer something that's desired. So basically you just need someone to catch the ball. Yeah, I mean, best case scenario is if he moves. That's what you want. And I mean, think of guys like Piazza, who was a power hitter who caught for a long period of time. Um, and towards the end, he basically just had no knees left. Gary Carter, these guys, like they were Carlton Fisk, who would, I mean, think of squatting that many times. Langoliers, we got the Soderstrom Chrome, the Kirstead Chrome, the Soderstrom Refractor, Zach Beam Refractor. All right. One through all these. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right, two packs left. In these two packs, I can see right off the hop, we've got a purple and I can see a red. So let's ooh. Okay, so we got some paper here. One thing about this Bowman is that there's just so much paper. Okay. Who else are you guys looking for that you, that might not be like an obvious person, like it's obvious like a Hendrick or a Hassel or a, a P. Crow or a Torkelson, like who are, the, who are the sleepers that you guys have come across as you sort of done your research and, and some players that you might think have big upside? Soderstrom is one of those guys for me. Um, there's another guy that's actually not in Bowman Draft that I'm really excited for. His name is Blaze Jordan. Picked up by the Red Sox. He's, uh, he was drafted low. I think it was the second, maybe even the third round. But he was um, he came with a lot of hype behind him. And I, it's just so hard too because we don't we have no basis for comparison. I think the first three weeks of spring training and when they start playing spring training games are going to be incredible because we're going to see some of these young guys come up and get their reps uh, with the big clubs and you're going to, you know, I think we're going to see a few guys that maybe we don't know a lot about do a few things with the bat that we kind of, you know, you, you just can't pick up from inner squad games or instructional leagues where beat writers don't have any access. We got a blue here, paper blue, Casey Schmidt, number 150. Seems like in this, the... The refractors, the the good cards always seem to be pretty decently centered, but some of the base chrome are just vomit inducing. Absolutely terrible. So let's leave that bad boy out. So for anyone who's watching, there's 11 people here. The next break that we're going to be doing is going to be a mixer. And it's going to be the best hits from 2020. So we're going to have some Bowman, some Bowman Draft, and some Topps Chrome. And it's actually going to be a draft style where you draft your team from the box that you want. So we're going to do 10, 10 spots. And so, for example, if you really liked, there's the two J's, if you really like uh, Louis Robert, then you could take with your first pick, you could take the Chicago White Sox and Topps Chrome. So we're going to draft. So there's going to be 120 total picks that are made. 10 teams per, or 10, 10 different spots, three teams per box, times four different boxes. Yes, yes, we know. Uh, this is weird. I'm just going to stop for a second.
is Nick Gonzalez was just in the middle of the box out of nowhere, and I don't know if you can see this. Let me try and... But that is fucking... It looks like a dog got to it. You can't really see it on camera, but there's a big crease through the middle of it. It's right up here. I've never, ever seen... Probably the 70 packs that I've opened, I've never seen a crease... No, that's a lie. Probably 50 packs. I've never seen a crease through the top like that. And also, I've never seen a paper card in the pack of chromes. And we got this purple coming up here. Reese Hines. Seems to be a little bit quiet. Oh, look, there's a purple right there. Seems to be a little bit quiet on the first Bowman's chromes in here. Let's see if it makes up for it here. Who do we got? We got the Red Sox. Motherfucking Brandon. If you hit a, an auto of Nick York. Oh, uh, Jay Groom. Jay Groom. <laughs> Oh, Bailey Horn right behind him. Bailey Horn for the White Sox. Bailey Horn for the White Sox. Another traded team. Brandon actually traded that team away. Now, not the major names. Calabrese, Canadian kid. So let's see if we can get some, some decent chrome here. Petey Halpin, seen enough of this dude. Samaya, Shane Drohan, Owen Casey. Owen Casey has kind of moved up into the sleeve pile right away. Daniel Lynch, Cabrera, Contrell, Santos, Langoliers, Garcia, Grayson, Warren, and Joe Ryan. All right, so one pack left. I'm just going to sleeve these bad boys up. Oh my. So we got the Owen Casey. Owen Casey, let me bring that up to home. Looking good, Mr. Kid. And we got the, this guy's Canadian as well, I believe. Yeah, he's from Maple, Ontario. David Calabrese. He's drafted at a high school. So when was he drafted? 82nd overall. So it wasn't a high draft pick. Um, also, did anyone hear what happened to James Harden tonight? Yeah, the other break was right before this one. Right before this one. Yeah, if you heard what happened to James Harden, let me know. Because I know that... The game was canceled tonight, and I heard something about um, him potentially exposing himself to COVID at a strip club. Literally didn't have time to sit down and read it. I mean, that's kind of a headline that you want to read. I had the option of choosing him as my first pick. I picked third overall, um, but I ended up getting Luca instead. And Bailey Horn. Bailey Horn, not an exciting auto. Not an exciting, yeah. Not an exciting auto, but I mean, if you got the White Sox as your team, then that's always a little win for you. All right, so let's. Breaking these up here. So we just cover the paper. Now, this is our last pack. It is also the one with the red. I have no idea if it's an auto or not. And I'm gonna do it so that I can't see a thing. So I wanna be just as surprised as all of you. There is a red. It is in here. I don't know if it's an auto, but we'll find out. So it's Follow the paper trail. Cassis, I really like Cassis. Meyer, Tink. Just scrolling on through. Yeah, I don't really know what happened to Harden. I just know that they canceled the game and, um, and that he was at a strip club. And I know that James said, there was actually a, an al not an algorithm, but there's a 
a statistic out that's that takes the ratings of strip clubs in a particular city because I guess there's a rating system for it there and it looks at James Harden's scoring averages averages in those cities and the, there's a, an indirect correlation or I should say a negative correlation between the quality of strip clubs and his performance on the court which I mean makes sense Oh, that's what it was. They literally didn't have enough players to start the game because of COVID. We are on the second day of the NBA season. Eek. Eek. That's not good. I mean, this is why you have the bubble for people like James Harden. Britain. Zach Veen. Mean Green. Zach Veen. Dominguez. All right, and we have a Blade paper, number 2499. Okay, folks, so the red is in this last pack. And let's hope for the best. Logan Gilbert, Isaiah Green, Clayton Beater, Ronaldo Hernandez, and we have a Torkelson here. Now, I've, I've actually never opened a box of this and not gotten a Torkelson. So it'll be interesting to see if he pops up here. Spino, Cole Henry, Jay Groom, Casey Schmidt, George Kirby, Siani, Encarnacion, Calabrese again, Camiro, Tink Hentz, Taglia, Trent Palmer, Julio. Oh, this next card is the is the red. After this one. There's, oh, sorry, there's one more. Kirsten Robinson. It is a red. It is for the San Diego Padres. It is a red for the San Diego Padres. The only problem is I saw that it's a pitcher. Justin Lang, number three out of five. Oh, I don't think he's a pitcher, though, is he? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at this. Alika Williams. That is the case hit. Alika Williams for the Tampa Rays. So just hold on one second here. Let me sleeve both of these up right away. So Lika Williams card is pretty sharp. It's number 212 to 250. That's sweet. And then uh, Justin Lang. Now, Justin Lang, I don't think oh, he is a pitcher. I didn't think he was a pitcher. Anyways, it is a red. It is numbered to five. It is numbered one out of five. And it is a first Bowman Chrome. Numbered one out of five. There we go, baby. All right, we still have some more to go through, though. Did we go through these ones? Yeah, we went through these ones. Still have to pull this torque. Matthew Dyer, George Kirby. Torkel, there's the Torkelson. Groshans, Emerson Hancock. Jordan Walker for your Cardinals. Carson Tucker. Westberg. Hans Kroos. Warner Blakeney, Foscu. Cassis, Max Meyer, and Carson Tucker. All right, so let me sleeve these bad boys up, and then we will do a little recap here. So, I mean, I would have liked it to be a red auto, but Justin Lang for the Padres.
first Bowman. It is not too bad. So let's do a little recap here. We've got Foscu, Bailey Horn, got a Jay Groom number to one two fifty, David Calabrese refractor, Owen Casey, Casey Schmidt. We got the Zach Veen, Soderstrom refractor, Kirstead, Soderstrom regular. Langoliers, Torque, Gage Workman, Ed Howard, Robert Hassel, Austin Wells Refractor, Sammy Infante Refractor, Reed Detmer's Refractor, Andrew Vaughn Refractor, Reese Hines, another Torque, Kirstead Refractor, Pete Crow Armstrong, Austin Hendrick, Jason Dominguez, Foscu Refractor, and a Warner Blakeney. Those are all of our regular hits. Now let's look at the autos and the, the big cards. We've got a Justin Lang. Justin Lang, red, numbered 1 to 5. Alika Williams. Alika Williams, class of 2020 auto. Burl Caraway, numbered to 150. Kyle Isbell, numbered to 150. Zach McCambly, and lo and behold, the Pete Crow Armstrong numbered 410 to 499. Folks, that is all for tonight. Um, this will be the last break that I'll be doing before Christmas. So have a happy holidays, a very Merry Christmas. I hope all of you stay safe. And we'll be, um, we'll be coming up with some big stuff in the next few days. If you're interested in the group, Give us a follow, and um, we will, uh, we're a cool group of dudes to hang out with. So come hang out with us sometime. All right, folks, have a great night, and 